The VBA language sits behind all of Microsoft's programs. In the Excel VBA course, you learn how it applies to Excel's objects, collections, their properties and methods. If I want to add some code to this workbook, I need to add it to the VBA editor or the Visual Basic editor. To get to that, I can go to the Developer tab, click on Visual Basic and here is the window where all the magic happens. The code itself is written on a module sheet that's attached to the workbook. To add one, insert menu, module, and I now have a blank module in the workbook ready for some code. This is where you would paste code if someone's given it to you or you've copied it from the internet. I've got some code here that I've copied. This code is going to hide worksheets that I specify. So I'm going to just go to the edit menu, paste. This is what code looks like. It starts with a sub line usually with the name of the procedure and all the lines down to the end sub are the lines that your macro will perform as you run it. This particular piece of code, as I just said, is going to go and hide the sheets that I specify. If I look at the spreadsheet here, there are several sheets. You can't hide everything. At least one sheet has to stay unhidden. Go back into the code and nominate this invoice sheet here that I'm highlighting as the one that stays unhidden. Back to the Visual Basic window. In the code here, this particular piece of code has a variable. It has a loop so that it can repeat several times over each sheet. I just have to come back here to this little string of text. Usually strings are in quote marks. I'm going to replace that with the name of the sheet that I would like to keep. I'm now ready to run this piece of code. So I expect that I will have all the sheets hidden over here, except for the invoice sheet. To run the code from the Visual Basic window, I can come up to a little run button up here on the toolbar, press that. Now nothing happens on this window, but if I look back at Excel, all my sheets are hidden except for the invoice sheet. So we've got a successful piece of code. Now there's more than one way to do this and that's the beauty of this language. There are several ways for you to get to the end result. If we apply a little bit of logic, let's just take that block of code, highlight it, let's copy it, let's paste it underneath. You've now duplicated it. I'm just going to rename that. You've got to have a separate name for each piece of code. Uh, I'd like to unhide absolutely every sheet. The key thing to change here is to change that line that says the sheets are hidden to say Excel sheet visible. Just going to see if that works now by running that procedure. When I come back to Excel, all the sheets are visible. In the course, you'll learn all of that and more, including how to make those two pieces of code run from buttons, and also how you could make them trigger automatically. There's endless possibilities once you know the power of VBA.